This world I roll. Okay. Is it? Is it? Is it? Mm -hmm. Wait just a moment. I got up and did it. The map. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to explore fishes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh. Here, Palago. Here. Mm, there's some statues living forward. Mm. Okay. She needs to recover now. Wind strike. <laughs> As one with wind and cloud. Gather. Wind strider. Okay. Brings a smile to my face. This wasn't even the chest I was looking for. Uh, let me just fix some windows here for me. Mm -hmm. Back. Uh, yeah, that wasn't even the one I was looking for. Uh, Alright. Uh, the chest isn't working again. Then why half the times they don't work? There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Oh, they're taking a picture. Oh, thanks. Uh, speak to the Night Raven statue questioner to start the case determination process. Once the other Night Raven statues have finished giving their statements, you, your target can be identified. What a criminal! Life mimics drama as drama does life. Sometimes we know not whether we stand off stage or in the spotlight. Seeker of secrets, I wish to know by whose hand is written the fate of all. Why are you in such a hurry? What is it that you're holding? Did you steal it? Spare me your vicious slander. Nay, I happened upon this shiny by chance alone. Hmm, let me see. Yes, as I thought, this is the very item that the princess lost the other day. 
What? I, I swear to you, I found it. Uh, unless, uh, perhaps someone is trying to frame me? Frame you? I dare say you... Dare say you... Oh, shoot, I forgot my line again. Seriously? You only have a handful of lines. Uh, next line, please. It's, I dare say you stole it, Vile Fiend. And remember, we really want to hear that aggression coming through. I dare say you stole it, Vile Fiend. Okay, got it. Let's try another take. All right, from the top, please, everyone. Seeker of secrets, have you found the one by whose hand is written the fate of all? Surely enough uh. to convince anyone to become a wanderer. This guy? Who says there aren't benefits to uh, a life of wandering? That's like the guilty one, the culprit. Okay, let's continue along. Time to go. Sure. <laughs> there should be more chests over there. Mm. Time to go. Theater stop main bird. The theater has yet to open. If you have any questions, please direct them to our troop head. Our head often goes to the palace in the head's place, so if you need any help, you can go look for him. Okay, so I have to climb the highest place. Yeah. Mm. Oh, something. Okay, maybe some of the chests should be here. Okay, so I'll check back. That works. Your bond is strong! Stabilize! Fallen leaves! Adorn my knights! Says there are benefits to a life of wonder. Uh, that one. Oh, there's another. Here. Time to go. Oh, the gates. To each in the world, life brings the burden of responsibility. Seeker of secrets, I wish to know by whom ought this burden of responsibility be borne. What a beautiful day. A perfect day to rest. Yeah, this shift seems to be going on forever. My talons are completely numb. You over there, would you stand guard a while in my stead? Huh? Fine. Since you've been working for so long, I shall take pity on you and stand guard in your place. What the? You make me cover your shift just so you can swan off over here and take it easy? Oh. It, it wasn't my shift today anyway. <laughs> Did well, whose was it then? You were the one standing guard when I came. I was just passing by too when the person on guard asked me to cover for them for a while. Then the guy who was supposed to be on guard went to rest under a parasol. Mm. So that a guy... parasol? Seeker of secrets, have you found the one? By whom ought the burden of responsibility be born? This guy. Brings a smile to my face. All right. Mm -hmm. There are some nearby, but I think they'll be inside the castle, actually. Up there. Oh. 
<laughs> this isn't anything, it's just a bunch of them. Oh, I need Mitoboro. Where's the closest? Oh, over there. Uh, okay. Hmm? I have a urge. About what? Did that? Wait, stop talking. Someone's coming this way. Oh, come on. I have a urge. Oh, what the hell? Oh, come on. Oh, listening secret. Alright, they're gone. What strange happenings have you heard lately? No, that was so, but I heard that someone saw a shadowy figure slip into the castle. Oh, that's right, I heard that there's too mischief in there. What? Wait, what? Aren't guards going to check? And there's the rope. Uh, there's our shadow going in. Guards at the door. Seriously? That's spooky. What? Uh, come on. Uh, ah, castle cellar. Uh, is there? I should be able to skip to the next line. Uh, there are leaves around. The guards were the door. They didn't and see I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Oh, there's a quest here as well. Mm. Oh, here as well. Dropping uh, this place. Same thing. Time to go. Oh. Was that supposed to be there? Uh, okay, I think there's two chests inside. I'm not sure what's above, what's below. Let's go up there. Oh, I can't talk to you. Romeo. Um, but will she love this flower? What if she loves it not? Should I resign this campaign and sell it again when you're fully girded? Uh, the blockhead. Where? We not to meet at this hour. Why there is he so distantly? Uh, so do I have to? Is that a puzzle? I don't think this is a puzzle. Um, can I give you? Oh, I can push him. Time to go. Oh, well, moment! I'm not ready yet. And this, that it, which I call Rose, I see this Rose at the end of the city. Just that? I. Just that? Uh, where was the elevator? <laughs> Mm. Time to go. Ah, the cellar. Uh, nothing seems wrong with this particular elevator's function. So why isn't it working? Youngster, could you help me have a look? I'm afraid my limbs aren't what they used to be. Hmm. 
kind of brick bats. No. I can enter through here. No, uh. mm, nothing's wrong with this person. I know I see working. Answer can help me look. I want you to have a look, but. Maybe I'll find another path down there. So sleepy. Okay. Maybe they didn't maybe they didn't step right in the middle of the bottom. I'll I'll check it afterwards. Should be a rest and another. Mm -hmm. mm, here. Uh, how shall I decide? What are you worried about? I was thinking about how to become an excellent knight like Sir Oz. Yet my strength is in insufficient. So I seek to make up for his deficiency the skill. Just as an example, I was thinking about how to break all these wooden dummies in one fell swoop. Okay, like... I forgot her name, but the one that wants to be like Jean. Mm. They all say that you have you have the eye of our princess and surely you have powers beyond the norm. In which case could you demonstrate them for me? I believe you have the capacity to shatter all these wooden items in one go. Sure. Wind strike! Ah, so that's how it's done. I am most impressed. You have taught me so much. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Fateful offering. Okay, now there should be one more chest. I guess inside. Time to go. Hmm. Ah, so that was the chest. This is another thing. People who try to deceive others are often deceived by others themselves. Seeker of secrets, I wish to know to whom goes the treasure when all is said and done. Bury it good. No one else can find it. If we bury it too deep, even we won't be able to find it. Boss, do you really think this fake shiny will fool everyone? With the real one buried here, we can sell the fake, and no one will be the wiser. Come on, quick, put the fake shiny on the table. Mm.
Hey, look, I found a shiny thing here. Uh, is it a real one? Of course not. <laughs> Although it does look very similar. Hmm. Maybe we can switch it out for the real one. This guy took for him. Welcome, welcome, everyone. What a rare treasure we have for you today. Feel free to come to the table and have a look. We'll start the auction shortly. Mm. It goes to the highest bidder. Okay, the guy replaced, so now it's the real one that's there. Okay, they're switched. This scene of <laughs> let's go. What are you doing? Hey, what's that shiny in your hand? Crumbs, they caught us! Forget it, leave the shiny and let's get out of here! Huh, wait. This looks like the real shiny. The thieves replaced the real one with a fake and they almost got away with it! In broad daylight, no less. Truly terrible. <laughs> Quickly, swap them back. Hmm. Okay, so now the fake one is over there. All right, the item's back on the table. But what should we do with the replacement? Hmm, you can keep it as a toy for all I care. <laughs> okay. Seeker of secrets, have you found the one? To whom went the treasure when all was said and done? <laughs> Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Okay, but there's two chests around here. What's going on here? Now then, children, what day would you like to hear today? Let's hear the story of the childhood prince. Alright then, once upon a time, there was a pair of childhood friends. They grew up together and loved each other dearly, but both of them were too shy to say so. Their love only bore fruit once well-meaning people gave them a push. Okay, so what I did down there. But the good times did not last, and while they were out playing, they were attacked by monsters. Uh, the young lad sacrificed himself to let the others escape. Uh, yet do not free, fret, for the young lad's cries for help were heard by a passing hero who, who rescued him. Thus, the two childhood friends were the two childhood friends reunited, and they lived happy ever after. Uh, so, will they be attacked now? The story of the person who wished to become a guard. Ah, oh, it's the guy I helped during the story, actually. Uh, sure, I was upon a time, there was a young man who looked up to his brother and wanted to be a castle guard to serve and serve her highness the princess but this was no easy task he could only sneak into the palace each day and study what he, it takes to become a guard and he studied hard indeed tiring himself out so much that he would fall asleep in the elevator ah that's what happened down there uh, the day he was about to become a guard, someone discovered that he had used the palace facilities. This vexed him greatly, as he feared that, feared that he would not be able to become a guard, a guard were he to be discovered. Yet the person held true and did not tell on him, and did this young fellow become an excellent guard. And so too would this start be passed down in tales. Uh, next. 
hear the story of the brave person who pushed the limits. All right, once upon a time, there was a person most bold. He longed to soar through the skies to feel the rush of wind against its body. He hankered after the unfettered freedom to be found above the clouds. So he feared neither nimbus nor gale, and he pierced through storms and great waves. Many times he was struck down and many times did he fail, but just as many times did he set out once more. Until one day, he became a master of flight. None could match his deeds, and so he retired, he retired in glory. They say that he lives as a recluse on this island, and that any who wish to receive his tutelage must go to a lone tower in the skies. No, I can't just... No, thanks. Hmm. Time to go. Time to go. Mm -hmm. uh. No, that's not a long tower in the sky. Where is the long tower in the sky? Okay, the guy from the theater must be way up there. From what they told me. But where is a long tower in the sky? Oh, hang on, and there's a chest I'm missing. Afterwards, it's from those guys and gray meal that I pushed. Ah, okay, that is in the sky. So that's where the master of flight, Revali, is. Oh, hang on, there's a guy here. There weren't before. Welcome, dear guests. Next, Robin Airlines at your service. Ah, you can take me there. Uh, you know us not? Well, now, allow me to make introduction. We nine ravens have returned to the castle at our possessions' behest. Yet, it is located on high and reaching it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and reaching it has proven quite the ordeal. Thus has a path been made through the wind to our keep. Naturally, it is not only for our use. You may make use of it as well, but you will require a night watch contract from Her Highness. I have a few. Uh, do I spend them when I use? I guess, may I ask if you have such a night watch contract in your possession? If you do indeed wish to gain the right to access this vantage point, then please produce your contract. Display. Well. Ah, this so this the princess's night watch contract. Behold her elegant words and writing. Come, dear guest, allow me to grant you passage immediately. Welcome, dear guest, and thank you for choosing Nash Robin Airlines. Where do you wish to alight today? 
I choose uh, the mid mountain stop. I don't need to go anywhere. The castle. Let's check this one. Of course, step this way and stay safe. We wish you an enjoyable trip. Ah, oh, it's like that. Huh. I guess my have can dash and the same thing. Yeah. But I think the other one will vanish. Right. Okay. Okay, I'm in another island. What's around here? Almost nothing. Um Oh yeah, but I can teleport up there. Look, to... to the book, the final book, if I want. Hmm. What's going on here? This thing's secret. Uh, I don't know if you've heard. There's a cave near the cliff. Uh, it's said that there's been born a long path. Those who anyone who would actually throw it just room after all. Okay, again. Um, near the passage cliff. Leash of the castle. Leave right the wing to catch you. Okay. I think this was here, and I think that was closed. Oh, okay, another one. Oh, this is different. Night Ray and statues with blue scarves will not lie. You can use statements from this sort of statue as a reference. Uh, Night Ray with red scarves. Ah, lie often, but not always. Uh, take care when considering the statements made by such statues. People change their minds as they would change their stance, but sometimes it is wise to chart your course based on the prevailing wind. Seeker of secrets, I wish to know who among these was truly deceived. Well, did you bring the goods? I did. You have what I wanted? Come on, bring him out. Let him feast his eyes. Hmm, let me count. One, two, three, yep, ten shinies. They're all fake. Be careful. Huh? He told... How come these shinies don't look as shiny as they're supposed to? You're not gonna take the shinies without giving me the goods, are you? That's not how this works. Hmm. Goods. I knew you wouldn't be honest, so I didn't bring the goods at all. No, today I'm the one bringing the goods. I've got them right here. Hmm. Who will I? What do you mean? Oh, I see. You're with them, aren't you? What's going on? <laughs> Sorry. I went to a lot of trouble to bring the goods here. Come on, take the goods. Come on, boss, take the goods. Wait, what? So you two aren't with them after all? What? You're too green to be contending with me. I played along to lure you out. Looks like it was worth it. 
seeker of secrets, have you found the one? Who among these was truly deceived? Oh, I, that really helps me. I have no idea where my point is. Yeah, Brings a smile to my face. There's a conch nearby. Uh, is it up there? Guess not. Um, and the punch giving damage from. Let's come here since I'm this high. Check this guy and then I'll look for that conch. Time to go. Uh, I never expected someone else. Will find this place. This world was created specifically to hone one's flight skills. I shall not suffer anyone without our presence's Nightwatch contract to use it. Uh, I believe I mentioned this before. I shall not suffer anyone. So, okay. Display contract. I say, this is indeed a Nightwatch contract, penned by our possessing. Uh, I know not how Her Highness gave you leave, but it seems you are a figure of some staining, at least. Still, I caution you that this road is most perilous. I recommend you reconsider. When you are truly ready and willing to recant any doubt or concern and resolutely travel upon this road, then seek me again. I am. Uh, a brave soul you are. It seems you are well resolved. Good, good. Then prove that you are that you have the skill to conquer this road. Follow the wind. Oh. Just that. Yeah. Follow the wind. At least I don't have to pass through them all. Yeah. Ah. That's not fair. It's not fair. Can I start again? <laughs> your elegant trip through the skies is almost burning indeed. Verily, I acknowledge your skill. Okay. Receive your reward for covering this road, Valiant Flyer. Yeah, throw for the periods of flight are brief. Those who experience that apex of a forest shall not forget it. May this sea remember your valid form forevermore. Can I go again? Because I, I, I didn't offer. actually did it. Um, I think I was supposed to stop. Right there. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, there it is. No, there it is. Those are from the editors I murdered recently. Uh, uh. It's not here. Gafia, let's take a break. Who knows whether we'll find anything to eat at all on these islands. Okay. That's completed. Oh, there should be another Ravens falling. Time to go. Right here. Uh, more lighters. Even the raven that feasts on rotten flesh is sometimes enticed to taste what is not theirs. Seeker of secrets, I wish to know who is the glutton that to greed did succumb. No, 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 guys! You screwed this up! That cake was for the princess! This was an inside job! Sir, I do have a sweet tooth. If you choose to suspect me, there's nothing I can do. I carry memories of- Sir, I only pilfer in public. I never steal in secret. <laughs> if it were me, I would have eaten the cream and left the cake. I wasn't here yesterday. It wasn't me. It was you. Well, you know me, sir. I would have sooner eaten the cabinet than the cake it holds. <laughs> Useless, all of you! How did I end up with you as my team? Seeker of secrets, have you found the one? Who is the glutton that to greed did succumb? Well... That guy could actually have me, he said he could have me, but he does necessarily likes. He could have, but not necessarily. He says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Ah. Fishing. Oh. We'll find they do. Explain our for Erzat's angling. What a shame. What's is that? Anyway, oh, impeccable time. Now explaining will be a hassle, so why not experience for yourself? See that chair over there? Just sit on that and pull up a fishing rod. That's all it takes. Shouldn't there be. Uh... <laughs> So that guy is playing a fish. Uh, I'm about to hook the bait, so. So did I fish? Mm, maybe I have to come back afterwards. Uh, no, this one isn't marked on the map. I'll try to return later. Okay, let's take this boat and check that challenge. What's going on there?
Did you push them on the cliff? I can't talk to you. Uh, I think that guy just murdered two, two guys. Silence, nothing. Damn, but I kind of want to explore now those places. Let's complete that first. Because then I don't think I'll need. Yeah, I don't think I'll need little more around here. Do I have to get them all? I'm not sure. How far do I have to go? That's the end? No. Okay, that's the end. Yeah. Oh, I don't... Yeah. Okay, now it's over. Okay, I don't have to climb. But... It's here. Is that car? Are you alright? Oh, oh, come on. Is that car alright? You've been changed your stomach. No, I'm bad. Fine. I'm probably gonna chill this night. 
I are feeling you busy somewhere. I'm fine. I will tell you. Okay. So this conch is taken as well. Yeah, things taken. Uh, let me take a look over here because the place looks a bit interesting. Anything interesting over here? Really? No. Hmm. Hmm. There seems to be something up there, but on the map, there isn't any collectible there or anything. I think I better go far here. Then I'll glide down afterwards. Yeah, I guess Fisher's place will take a while as well. Wings of the pigeons suspended in flight are lovely to behold indeed. Just that. Wait, what are you doing? How could you do that to the pigeons? Hey, Timmy. The pigeons, those poor lovely pigeons. I didn't even kill them this time. Ah, the theater guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm. You must be the world famous traveler, and this must be the traveler's best companion, Paimon. Wow, how did you know our names? They're figment of Fisher's imagination. You are the island's most distinguished guests. Of course I know who you are. After all, I am... You are... I am the world-famous head of Twilight Theater. Uh, I can't believe someone will call himself world-famous. You say you're world-famous, but we've never heard of you. It's fine, now you have. After a painstaking amount of work, our play, Tale of the Sword-Wielding Princess, is finally ready for the stage. Mm. There are five acts in this play, each with two scenes. Uh, this will be long, isn't it? My distinguished guests, you have come at the perfect time. The show is about to start. Please take a seat. I, uh, still need to take care of something backstage. Please excuse me. You are about to witness the debut of Twilight Theater's best ever play. Please sit back and enjoy. 
uh, interesting. That's more to at the entrance to the theater to prepare for a theatrical performance. Speak to the narrating statues to decide which actors are needed for the show. Listen to the narrator's hint to ascertain the actors needed again. Uh, step help the night raven statues that will serve as actors to take the stage by placing them in the correct position to begin a performance. Uh, Well, upon hearing of human dreams precious as gold, an insatiable evil dragon descended upon the kingdom. Oblivious to this ill, the king and his princess continued to debate the content of their meal. Meat or vegetable, though the princess's most loyal servant would have proposed both to end the squabble. But few knew his name, and fewer still cared for his counsel. And then the evil dragon appeared. Okay. What? Oh. Dreams like gold. I wonder if they will be flavorful. Okay, maybe this is the first one, so it's quite simple. Dreams like gold. I wonder if they will be flavorful. Oh, these uneven tiles on the ground knock the wind out of my sails. Ah, good, very good. Though you are puny, you harbor dreams grand enough for myself. Be gone, evil dragon. Evil dragon? How laughable. A dragon as illustrated and thoughtful as myself should surely be granted enlightened as a title. My kin are known to covet treasure, yet I have found the dreams of puny man more enticing than jewels. It is most spectacular how man can stuff their minds with dreams, whether they be starving or full. Human dreams are more precious than gold, or so they say. Today I will see for myself if your dreams are indeed as filling as they are valuable. My hunger wears away at my control. I must feast as soon as possible. Puny king, if you value your own life and those of your kin, then offer up thy sacrifice thereupon! Well... To see me as a coward, are your vile eyes mere reflective stones? Dreams and nobility are my lifelong pursuits. I will not give them up for you. Be gone, evil dragon. The kingdom won't cower before you. And I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. I must urge that you reconsider, though courage fills your measly soul. Which choice is more favorable between sacrifice and annihilation? Some time will surely show. <sighs> I will find some rest in your city outskirts, but before nightfall, I will return for my fill. If you fail to give, then I will take for myself. Your palace shall be my hunting grounds, and your halls my stove. Oh, okay. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Uh, watch the second path. Convinced that the king will in time provide a delicious meal, the hubristic dragon departed the castle for a short break. 
the righteous king, had no intention to yield and planned to call upon his banners to conquer evil. I will defeat the dragon to protect our kingdom. My child, you forget yourself. A princess cannot march. Your place is not in battle, but within the boudoir. I have not forgotten your teachings. I cannot give up dreams and nobility. I should walk freely among our people, as a princess, but also as a warrior. With the dragon outside, I cannot just sit still. You are a princess first. Moreover, I cannot bear to see you step into danger. Furthermore, you... There are leaves around. <laughs> Rest assured, Your Majesty. By my side, her safety will be secure. With no name or honor, how do you propose to protect her? Alas, say no more. I will summon the bravest warriors of the land to ride beside her. There were three celebrated warriors in the realm, each endowed with great gifts and known for skills spectacular. All waited patiently outside the palace, eager to step into the throne room. The forger of great legacies, the world-famous fighter, Attendant A. His glory is resplendent, and his travels the epics of the day. Within the realm, only the most ignorant have not heard of the hero, or given him acclaim. Okay. Oh. Well, you won't tell me about the other two? A phenomenal plan takes time to formulate. Use your brain, not your fists. See, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please, listen carefully. Okay, that's not useful for battle. <laughs> you say you didn't know? Here, I'll tell you all about my name. Well, I suppose he wants me to get the right one. None. Gosh. It takes too long. I'm gonna pick the one that I think is the right one. Even though I kind of want to check the other. <laughs> you say you didn't know? Here, I'll tell you all about my name. The often indecisive and overcautious tactician, Attendant B. Oh, okay. Specialist in surviving any and everything in one piece. Is he paranoid or simply meticulous? No consensus exists. Okay, that's you. A phenomenal plan takes time to formulate. Use your brain, not your fists. You think I'm afraid? D don't discount my field expertise. And finally, our preeminent dragon slayer, Attendant C. Uh. Dragon slaying is a piece of cake, if you must ask me. The slayer recounted his many legends, showcasing spoils for all to see. Uh. That feels like the first one. See, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please listen carefully. See, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please listen carefully. The warriors have arrived. Ah, they are ready to fight. Their names are so long and complicated. Why is that? To project shock and awe, people often exaggerate their deeds. Oh, I, I must be ignorant. I I've never heard of such a trend. 
Welcome, brave warriors. May you persevere and prevail against the obstacles ahead. I swear upon all my past glory, a triumph for our princess is at hand. <laughs> the princess need not fear with me by her side. The dragon will fall in no time. Uh, a dragon poses no threat. My plan will make it flee with its tail between its legs. Friends, you make fair points, but you may not even have to fight. My slaying prowess is acclaimed throughout our land. The dragon will tremble and scram. So, accompanied by her loyal servant, as well as the three famed warriors, the princess set out on her quest. If you wish to hear. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Paimon, traveler, what did you think? Please tell me your thoughts. Yeah, I'm not gonna do roads. It was pretty interesting. Terrific! Anyway, please stay tuned. There are four more acts in this play, yes. and they'll be shown on various stages oh. on the island. Don't miss out on the best show of Twilight Theater. You can watch the middle three acts in any order before the final act. Oh. And when the final act begins, please hold your breath for the grand decisive battle. What? Stay tuned! He said there are four more acts after this. If we see a stage on the island, shall we go check it out? Speaking uh. of rooms here, uh, hang on. There was two chests here. Oh no. Here, the chests. Them start to click. Oh, oh, there you go. Uh, okay, there seems should no, the others down there. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's take a look around here. Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure you climb here. Ah, there they are. My most loyal attendant. She should be wearing the other suit, shouldn't she? Do you want to chat? Why, certainly. I bestow upon thee permission to ask any questions. About the crappy theater? Oh, you have witnessed the theater of the Holy Land? All right, out with it. Be liberal with your words of praise. It is a singular achievement in all the world. Min Fräulein eagerly anticipates your comments. Uh, Greetings, my thing. most. Why, certainly. I bestow upon thee permission to ask in. It of is the, the sacred scripture of the Imanakreish. It must never be allowed to fall into disrepair from a lack of upkeep. I'll take a care of it. Hmm. You'd better. In Main Fräulein's mind, it is a treasured memento of this journey. She is positively thrilled to know that you also see it as such. Oz, do not overinterpret my speech. It's a figment of her imagination. You should know what's going on in your mind. <laughs> Greetings, my... Why, certainly. I bestow upon thee permission to... One was most delighted to behold the grand ceremony and celebration with which one's official excursion to this blessed land was received. 
Alas, my journey through countless worlds has taught me that even the most splendid of things must come to an end. This is why I have declared to my people that my excursion goes on, as there are still attendants from faraway lands who require the Princessin's royal assistance. If things must go to aim, she could drop the act. Main Fräulein cried when she bade farewell to everyone. Oz, I told you, that was only because an insolent grain of sand rudely took refuge in my eyes. <laughs> Greetings, oh, Sorry. thou whose fate doth intersect with mine own, please enjoy thyself fully in this paradise. Ah, oh, there's an elevator. The princess here. Oh, it goes all the way down. Okay, good to know. Now that I don't need to climb here again. Jump. So it's probably pointless to come all the way up here, and there's nothing waiting for me up here. Oh, damn. There's a guy up here. I think I can talk to that one over there. Oh, it's probably a bridge of wind. Follow the wind. Yeah. That's, it's probably there's probably a limited amount I can. They they won't take any more as I was thinking. Otherwise, I would lose the the other chest. Uh, um. Okay, from here I can go to some top mountain stop. Uh, some top. Well, some top. It's not from the side. Huh. Ah, that's a sub top. Mm -hmm. No, but I'm gonna. Oh, there's one there that I didn't catch. I I'll assume it's down there. Hmm. Let's stop here. Cause it looked different. Ah, oh, there's stage there so it's on stage there one there I guess one over there in the other one to the other side and I'll probably have to come back up here ah yeah. uh, dear guess you must have seen how luxurious my purse is and couldn't restrain the curiosity in your heart to inquire about it Oh uh, no, this was built at no small expense. I shall not lie, yonder flight paths feature the loveliest roads in this region. I built it with my own hands. The road begins here and then goes through all the most famous spots of this island. Here it returns. You are also free to leave anytime you wish, should the desire to view anything up close take your fancy. Convenient beyond compare, is it not? Uh, you wish to make use of this world? Well then, I shall have to see your Nightwatch contract, lest 
our glorious princessing should find fault in my indolence. The most luxurious line, is it not? Well then, produce the thine night watch contrast, and it shall be your seals. Forsooth, this is her highness on writing. You must also be a guest of, of high standing indeed. Well then, allow me to grant you passage for this path. What say you? Shall you experience the wonders of this island? Then forward this way, honored guest. Enjoy the lovely sights of this island. Ah, oh, there's a stage there. Well, since I, he said he can drop down anytime I want, now seems a good time already. The birds out of my way! Stand with me! Order guide you! Gather! Get moving! Wind strike. Brings a smile to my face. All right, let's see this Time one. Time to go. Time to go. Oh. Still vowing to defeat the dragon, the princess followed the trail. The servant continued at his pace, shouldering all burdens without fail. Though the slayer scorned the servant, the loyal man paid it no mind. If I bore his tools and freed his mind, perhaps a victory he shall find. He bears the sword of destiny, the blade of the chosen one. He will raise it before the dragon, and victory will follow in time. As if hearing his thoughts, the dragon descended mm. upon a village. It should be my duty to banish the dragon. Let me see. Let me find... Is my golden dream oh. right at hand? Dragon, how dare you slander oh. my <laughs> name! Okay, now I know also. Let me see. Let me find... Is my golden dream right at hand? Oh, dragon. No one would laugh at you if you were to flee in fear. The human realizes not how comical he and his words appear. Wise and merciful as I am, I will refrain from taking the bait. However, I pray you will live to regret what you say. Why does this so long to change characters? <laughs> For a dull human, you sure have a sharp tongue. Let's see it then, if among heroes you truly belong. The princess has also finally caught up with her attendants. It should be my duty yeah, to banish yeah, no. the dragon. It should be my duty to banish the dragon. Your Highness, your permission to charge. With my blade and extensive experience, I will take this dragon apart. <sighs> permission granted. Be on your guard. I once slew a poisonous dragon and took this most precious reward. This cloak lets me evade any type of regard. I will bide my time and find the moment to strike the heart. Well, uh, and here I thought you were privy to some special art. 
Did you plan to flee all along and have only been waiting for a chance to depart? Hmm? If the Slayer put on his cloak and walked into the crowd, who would be able uh. to tell him apart? That's why it was invisible. Dragon, how dare you slander my name! Despite my patience and mercy, you have shown no shame. Bitter regret will be yours after I take aim. By all means, please go on. This enlightened one cannot wait to play your game. L let's take it over there. Silently acknowledging the request, the dragon twisted its features into a benevolent smile. Huh? Brings a smile to my face. In a flash, the dragon landed at the promised place. The princess and her loyal servant immediately followed apace. But the slayer remained rooted in place, as he somehow lost his faith. Oh. Evil dragon, you'll see what I'm made of! I consider myself a fit man. A match for knights from the palace. A dragon bigger than those from the rhymes. But I won't be scared. Hey, it's been all talk and no fighting. Give us a fight! <laughs> Evil dragon, you'll see what I'm made of. I've climbed mountains, crossed lakes, traversed dungeons, and defeated your kin. To finally obtain this sword, the Blade of Fate. Leave now, otherwise this razor-sharp blade will cut you into pieces. <laughs> what must be a shining myth to you is but trivial babble to me. I will settle and not even move two feet. Attack as you please. Simple villagers gathered to witness the scene. Many were fascinated by the blade's myth. A farmer came forward to try out the blade. But others wondered if hands that had only held a pitchfork could even grasp the hilt. Uh, this guy? I consider myself a fit man. A match for knights from the palace. I guess so. I thought it was I the... consider myself a fit man. A match for knights the from the palace. Knight I got. Uh, I thought I was strong enough. But I couldn't even shake it. The farmer used all his strength, but the sword remained in place. As for the princess and her servant, they also declined to try their faith. The dragon observed intently, but its patience finally wore away. Alas, I've grown tired of words and charades. When will a puny human finally save the day? Take the blade and strike me down, if you mean what you say. Uh -huh. uh, a mighty dragon slayer shan't do your bidding. Wherever in this world I'm a dragon slayer, you are but a charlatan. Drop your pretense and ask the child. Even he can see through you. Could the dragon's words be true? 
And there is no true dream under those layers of armor. A dragon bigger than those from the rhymes. But I won't be scared. That shiny armor. Why does it click? His mouth is open. Why does he not speak? Though I'm not hungry, this snack's been delivered straight to my door. The dragon's huge mouth instantly swallowed the Slayer's dream. <coughs> mm. It's just as I expected. Long rotten dreams make for terrible food. This bad apple taste... What a disgrace. The Slayer was also defeated. So the tales of past battles did not hold up. Everybody just said, yeah, he died. Nobody really cares. The dragon again departed the scene, leaving only the bewildered Slayer in his wake. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Uh, hang on, there should be something Time to go. back here. Oh. One of you. Crumble! I will have order. Our bond is strong. Uh, yeah. I suppose it was there. Solidify! Lightning terrify! I still get this as well. This one is on there. Uh. Uh, not sold out. All right, Sakar. We're done with the signal testing on this island. Let's hope the machine starts up without any issues. Okay, okay, come on, let's get to the next island and finish what we came to do. The sooner we complete our assignment, the sooner I can go back to camp and rest. Okay, now... Uh... Hmm, I guess I'm gonna... Go grab the other one that just appeared on my map. Person in water. I'll use the same. How should I bring the water up? Shiny is spotted below. Throw stone. Uh. Oh, they're saying the same thing. Well, this is different. There's that conch just floated up from inside the well. Well, it is being affected by the mirage. And there was probably a 
pocket of air inside the shell. No, the first. That's pretty amazing. Oh, look, someone's bending over. Uh, don't move. Behind you. Should I be very concerned? Uh, no, wait, no. It's just the image projected from the conch. It just appeared behind you so suddenly. Two signal testing sets. You know, I honestly thought that he was in serious trouble this time. Who knew this was just about being assigned slightly more annoying work. Uh, so yeah, that was a relief. Uh, you should know, you should have seen uh, how afraid he was of getting scolded by you. It was almost like watching a little brother cower at the thought of his older brother scolding him. You know, do you think he's just afraid of disappointing us? I mean, we are just square mates, but it does sometimes feel like we're family as well. Family, uh huh? Uh, Paimon gets the feeling that we just eavesdropped on something we really shouldn't have. It's enemy intel. To be honest, this Fatui doesn't seem all that bad. Yeah, it's not like they're evil, like a child. Uh, and I guess with that, I just unlocked her outfit. Uh, hey, that is, is from the... Okay. There are leaves. Uh, uh, let me just mark it here. Okay, let's check. And some. I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Mm -hmm. She's. Okay. I created another unit. Yeah, yeah. Mine and almost never use her. It is right to balance work and rest, but not to indulge in idleness. Seeker of secrets, I wish to know who among these has been lazing along. Hey, one of us isn't pulling their weight. Yes, our work is worryingly behind schedule. So, who's been taking it easy by the seaside? This guy here. Now that you mention it, I saw a raven with a red scarf going to the seaside. Hey, we're the only two with red scarves. You saying I'm slacking off? I never said that. Yeah. Hey, calm down. It's just a discussion. I swear, I'm not the lazy one. Well then, who is it? I say he didn't see a thing. He just wants to pin this on me. I never lie. Well, seeker of secrets, have you found the one? Who among these has been lazing along? Well, no. Who am I pointing at? Oh, don't I have to watch it all again? It is right to balance work and rest, but not to indulge in idleness. Come on. Seeker of secrets, I wish to know who Let's among these it. has been lazing along. Hey, one of us isn't pulling their weight. Yes, our work is worryingly behind schedule. So, who's been taking it easy by the seaside? Now that you mention it, I saw a raven with a red scarf going to the seaside. Hey, we're the only two with red scarves. You saying I'm slacking off? I never said that. Hey, calm down. It's just a discussion. I swear, I'm not the lazy one. 
Well then, who is it? I say he didn't see a thing. He just wants to pin this on me. Hm. I never lie. All right. Seeker of secrets, have you found the one? Who among these has been lazing along? So what's this one then? Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Mm -hmm. March. <laughs> Time to go. This monster's a death. If it wasn't for your help, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, well, allow me to give you this to you as gratitude. Uh, please do not refuse. And uh, now, if you would excuse me, I shall have to check on my wounded comrades now. It's all yours. Dissipate. Outside of the city gates, there lies a blessed stretch of prairie by the lake, with lush vegetation and a gentle, pleasant breeze. Seeking some time to rest, the wicked dragon landed with ease. Darn it! Why is this guy getting in my way? My quest is to track the dragon. I don't have time to waste. Uh, what rotten luck to get scammed before even concluding a single sail. A lake across and so far away. The castle as if a bird in a cage. Have the humans fit? A lake across and so far away. The castle as if a bird in a cage. Have the humans finished preparing my meal or do they yet believe they can defy their fate? The sun is high and the land scorching. In the interest of comfort, I will seek a more accommodating base. For no, one promised no. moment of unrivaled taste, I have traveled for hundreds of miles and hungered over dozens of days. The humans better not exhaust my patience, for even I have never had unlimited grace. Having spoken thus, the dragon sought relief in the shade, yet forthwith, from the other direction, a merchant came. This guy? Uh, what rotten luck to get scammed before even concluding a single sale. Uh, what rotten luck to get scammed before even concluding a single sale. I am a merchant who has traveled a very long way. Is this how this kingdom deals with trades? Throughout my entire career, I've never encountered a customer as loud or strange as this man today. To him, everything I have for sale is either a manipulative scheme for money or undeserving trifles of heinous quality. To think I even mistook him for some kind of connoisseur, when at the end of it all, he only made a fool of me. He never cared to close a sale. He just saw me as a challenge and refused to be defeated. As the merchant stewed over his anger, yet another irritated soul came onto the scene. Darn it! Why is this guy getting in my way? My quest is to track the dragon. I don't have time to waste. As an adventurer, defeating evil is my calling. Just the thought of him makes me enraged. All I said was that I've never heard of him, and he's treating that like the biggest mistake. Insulting me? Claiming I want to steal his glory? And suggesting my quest is just a ploy?
Wow. Evil dragon, show yourself. Resistance is futile. That's him. Oh, that must be him. Well. A fateful offering. Humans are truly a rude and rowdy lot. To think they can cause such a ruckus without even showing their faces. The man in pursuit is the kingdom's famed fighter. Though the sun continues to blaze, he continues spiritedly with his chase. <laughs> it would seem that my boundless fame has caused even the evil dragon to lose its nerve. I admire his fearless figure. It would be a dream to also one day prove my character. I am long tired of my peaceful boudoir. I wish to fight alongside my soldiers. Huh. Is there a show on or... <laughs> well, whatever. I, I need to get home. Uh, uh, this one started... Quickly. What happens if I... This is the wrong one. Here. How did I get here? Oh no, my wife's waiting for me to cook dinner. <laughs> okay, and if I get it. Ah, it just returns. Ah. Okay, it's not very punishing. <laughs> it would seem that my boundless fame has caused even the evil dragon to lose its nerve. As an enlightened dragon, one cannot tolerate such deranged words. Aha! Evil dragon! I didn't believe you would actually come out and face me! The puny human talks big and employs an aggressive tone. Yet does the substance of his dream back up his claim? Oh. Hmm. Oh, and the beast is silent! Is my dream so grand that even a dragon finds it difficult to consume? As the noble warrior faced off against the evil dragon, the anxious princess and her entourage arrived at last. The nameless servant kept his eyes on the field. The warrior's words have ignited a fire within his heart. I admire his fearless figure. It would be a dream to also one day prove my character. Fear as well. Evil dragon, why do you not speak? Have you finally realized you should cower in fear? I care not for those who are lesser. Your dream is massive, yet hollow in nature. For now, this wick, enlightened dragon still cannot decide if it's fit to eat. Oh, how vile of you to humiliate me, just because I'm an enemy! I regarded you as a worthy opponent, yet you use such insidious tactics! I, the world-famous fighter, will never fall before your degradation and trickery! You disgust me! The fighter's animated speech kindled a burning flame within even the oft-dispassionate heart of the royal lady. I am long oh. tired of my peaceful boudoir. I wish to fight alongside my soldiers. I am long tired of my peaceful boudoir. I wish to fight alongside my soldiers. Though one sees little reason to teach a lesson, perhaps no choice is left in the matter. Too many appetizers before the dish ruins the mood, but just for today, I can entertain an early platter. To everyone's shock, the evil dragon then swallowed the fighter's dream in one big gulp. 
It is just as I thought. Thin and crunchy, though empty under its shell. A most marvelous <laughs> texture. It's a fortune cookie. The warrior was handily defeated. So he was a gifted orator, but never a true fighter. Conceit became his downfall. His power did not match his stature. The dragon remained unsatiated. Under everyone's gaze, it flew away to parts unfamiliar. It was a smile to my face. Okay, there's one more in this panel. Can we return to the first one? Uh, uh. Time to go. Where is it? That's a cave. Oh, it's No, I guess it's but right there. Um I don't know. Let's check. Uh, I guess from here there was way ah uh, there. This the cave that leads to the castle that somebody told me about, and I don't remember anymore. Uh. Still here. Oh, all right, all right. Here, take the stuff. Stop bothering me. Okay. Brings a smile to my face. I guess he's doing something he shouldn't. Hmm. Let's come here. Oh, hang on. There's a teleporter here that I haven't. I don't think I actually need this teleport having that so close, but where is it? the wind. Hey. Some really chose to murder. What are they looking at? Time to go. Time to go. There's an open fire crash prison. Okay, so this will be the flash one, I guess. Uh... Time to go. Let this be. 
Ah, it was reloaded. Well, uh, it was fourth and stroll. I should never su suggest the. What happened? I was on frame and I didn't walk about these parts, but my hitchers were set upon. They have taken him. My frame was taken in my defense. Where have the hitchers gone? I did not see them clearly, but I am sure they are on this island still. Oh, what is it to be? What is to be done? Uh, so I had to find hitchers around the. Uh, let's see what else. Okay. Uh, okay. Time to go. We just did hear something change as well. No, I'm not sure what I have to do yet. I have stuff here, right? In the middle? No, nothing worked. Mm, I'll, I'll check some. Arnold, and the city seems also very lively. I wish I could go there too. We can't. Ah, uh, here. The last stage before the final one. The dragon flew off and briefly rested at the gate. Uh, I guess this was the first Where one. Where are the guards? Are they too terrified to face their fate? As the evil dragon made no attempts to move or hide, the princess and her entourage quickly arrived. The princess loyal knight was the first to spot the creature, for he always rode far ahead. Ah, okay, he's easy. Before you. The tactician is correct. Ah. We require a plan before we fight. How dare the dragon be insolent as such! I pledge before the king to not let the princess come to harm. Mayhap our tactician can succeed with his wits and charm. Legends have it that he's the ultimate survivor. Mm. If he can ward against dangers with fastidious care, we need not recklessly suffer. Without a plan, we should not pull the trigger. You have guns? To use such an expression. Well? The loyal servant passed the message in a voice barely higher than a whisper. <laughs> While the evil dragon rests, we will draw up a plan. Upon those words, she approached carefully so the dragon would ignore her steps. Uh, it was a her? <laughs> no, it, it is. It was talking about. This was silent, so they wouldn't be heard. I thought maybe it could be that one. The tactician is correct. We require a plan before we fight. Thanks to my servant's far-sighted work, we have seized the initiative. Oh, your highness honors me. I was simply doing my duty. Placing the saddle on the right horse is the way of the world. Take your praise with pride. The tactician has fallen behind. Why does he falter? Did he get entangled in a struggle? Well, he promised to quell all draconic cataclysms. Perhaps he is torn between myriad schemes. Through all faith and cynicism, the cautious tactician remained silent, his face one of dismay and gloom. Mm. 
Time to go. Oh, tactician, the dragon beckons. Please enlighten us about the stratagem. Stratagem? Uh, no stratagem can be perfected so quickly for a situation this grave. More time is vital. <laughs> this merciful enlightened one shall grant thee all the time in the world. Only at dusk will I call the dust to settle. Hark! The evil dragon speaks! It was simply feigning sleep to lure us into peril! Attendant B shook where he stood, stopping just short from falling to his knees. He muttered and apologized, then ran away to the gate without hesitation. <laughs> A fateful offering. The princess and her loyal servant rushed off to find him, while the dragon broke into laughter. <laughs> if the king had chosen to appease me, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy such a scene. Leaving behind her tactician-seeking servant, the princess returned alone to keep the dragon under guard. If you ask me, this time of peace is truly fantastic. What with food and wine and beauties. If a mirage belies the tactician's wisdom, what may I call on to keep my kingdom safe? F for the princess, I must fight. It's mm. another fight right here. If a mirage belies the tactician's wisdom. What may I call on to keep my kingdom safe? The element of surprise fades. The dragon now lies calmly in wait. The tactician has lost his nerve, yet my servant followed in pursuit. Shockingly, open city gates greet me where guards should have stood. An old guard arrived. Though he was quite visibly drunk, oh. his footsteps were surprisingly steady. <gasps> if you ask me, this time of peace is truly fantastic. What with food and wine and beauties? The aristocrats have never known our hardships. The, the searing sun. The chilling wind. Dragons, tacticians, what a boatload of nonsense. My eyes are dim now, and my ears ring. Why did they send me out to the front lines to take on a dragon? Though the young guard learned much from his senior, he hasn't forgotten his wish to defend the kingdom. For the princess, I must fight! With everyone gone, I am the last line of defense! I must save the kingdom from... From... Uh, oh, my belly... Could be... No... Not right now... Uh, uh. <laughs> did, did he just run off? And the food. <laughs> the show must go on. Should I find someone to take his place? Uh. What? Why did the guard run away? The show hasn't finished yet. The narrator said they'll have to find a replacement. Hmm. Shall we go look for one? Oh. <laughs> ah! There's a real guard over there! Let's go and ask him! Excuse me, did you see an actor running away? Of course! 
How ridiculous. How could he waste such a great opportunity? If only it was me. I've always wanted to perform in a show, but I never got the chance. I show is spoken to the other. Wait! Isn't this just perfect? In each face one month to replace the guard who ran away. Well, I've seen them rehearse, but I'm still not a real actor. But you are a real guard? The other guy suddenly disappeared just as he got to... I am the last line of defense! And now, no one is going to save the kingdom. We can't let that stand! As a guard, isn't it also your duty to protect the audience's wish to enjoy the play? That's true... But... It's always been your dream to perform on a stage! People are waiting! There's no time to hesitate! Let's bring him over! Um, hang on, let me see Time what this guy has to say because I avoided him because I knew who he was. The tactician's trail fades, but the guard should carry his weight. Uh, my line should be... Time to go! Uh, my line should be... Look here, dragon! <laughs> very well, very well. Let this enlightened one see if you have any battle prowess to back up that shout. Uh, the loyal servant finally returned just as the terrible fight was about to break out. The tactician's trail fades, but the guard should carry his weight. No, I should have led him into battle. I was still way too late. The late arrival let out a resigned sigh, even as the dragon raised the stakes. Though the young guard fought with valor, the cunning dragon still snapped up the prize in one take. <laughs> if I had worked harder during training, I wouldn't feel so helpless today. Though my appetite remains healthy, you did well to quench my cravings. The portions were modest, yet the taste remained rather satisfying. If the appetizers had already entertained me so, surely the main dish would cast a spell. Thus, again satisfied, the proud dragon licked its mouth and leisurely flew off. So, the tactician is survived. Brings but, uh, a smile to my face. face. Well, he is a survivor, as they said. My most distinguished guests, please hear me. I'm sure you have watched the first four acts. I hope you've been enjoying the show. Mm -hmm. The stage is now set for the final act. <sighs> I'm so excited I could cry. There is still something I need to follow up with backstage. I am terribly sorry that I could not escort you to the final stage personally, but I'll see you there. Isn't here anymore. <laughs> uh, the hidden churros, hidden churros, hidden churros. <laughs> so, oh, same thing now. I thought maybe you could tell me where they've gone. Time to go. Hey, what are you doing? Can't see you're having a sand bath. Uh, yeah, thanks for taking me out of there. 
Now, how am I supposed to get myself back in? I'm sorry. Editors, editors. I can talk to you, right? No. Time to go. that attack the guy. Huh? What's that? Oh, uh, what was that for? For listening to them? Uh, this is a mark on the map. What's this one for? Brings a smile to my face. No, oh, th those weren't the guys I had to listen to. They were more over there, I guess. Oh no, they were there next to the porch. Okay, I have no idea what this was for. Oh, okay, this was for the race. Okay, I completed the race and went to check the, the islands. Hey, have you heard? Oh, okay. Time so. to go. Raider and stuff. What? Ah, I thought I wasn't sure. Wind strike! Hey, that's an interesting. Time to go. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, my stream or uh, oh, it's from there. Going to bust it. Ah, that was it. The elevator. Ah, okay. Uh, where was it? Kit, time to go. Kit. Hmm. Time to go. No, 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 no. Ah, damn, that's not it. I was actually looking for the Ravens, but no, it's just that. Yeah, it works now. Ah, do I even need that? Yeah. Takes too long. So. Halt! This is a restricted area. I cannot simply let you through. There's a raven sleeping in the elevator. I've come to check the elevator. Yeah, the star was that we were supposed to ditch on him. Uh, and that. Alright, then check it and leave as soon as possible. Can I. Okay. Sleeping in the elevator? I... That can't be true. I saw nothing on the stars. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Great. <laughs> Pointless. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, you. Uh, I'm busted, uh, aren't I? Please don't tell anyone you saw me. What's going on here? Well, I'm just staying here for the time being. My elder brother is a guard here. Yes, he's the one guard in the cellar door. I want to become a guard like him, but I'm not strong enough yet. So I'm learning in secret here. Why do you have to hide in the cellar? 
I'm not a night raven guard, but I'm but I'm in the castle. If I were to be discovered by the other guards, my brother would be in for it. So please don't tell anyone. All right, you have my word. Thank you. You are a kind soul indeed. I will observe and learn as much as I can to become a night raven guard worthy of the title. What about price? Shouldn't you give me a chest or something? Time to go. No problems, right? Well, live quickly. There are no problems right here, right? Well, then live quickly. Okay, but does his brother know that he was here? I get something for this. Let's check the show. Time to go. The sun's about to set, and the moon soon to rise. Our time is almost up. But evil survives. The famed attendants all took on the dragon, but they fell one by one. I made a vow when all of this began. But now I fear my vow has become a farce. As her most loyal servant, I should share her worries. I am a nobody, but thanks to her, I was given a place. Nevertheless, I admire the princess's diligence and kindness. Please, don't dwell in sadness. We can reflect on the trio's mistakes. Your counsel is valid. Let me recall their words and deeds. An inflated ego, yet falling at the first hurdle. The princess remembered what she'd seen. I fancied myself a fighter, but my enemy saw right through me. I overestimated my ability. My past has proved my deeds. My laurels should now be able to speak for me. To protect myself, I ran away and let others take my place. Huh? What? It wasn't him? I fancied myself a fighter, but my enemy saw right through me. I overestimated my ability. I couldn't win against a strong enemy, but I also clung hard to my conceit. I lacked respect because I feared others wouldn't respect me. A dream that was massive in size, yet hollow inside. Lots of guts, but no ability. A supposedly foolproof plan, yet with no one to see it through. The princess remembered again. To protect myself, I ran away and let others take my place. All my plans evaporated when I saw the dragon in front of me. I did survive everything, but every time I did so by abandoning those standing next to me.
He was a tactician with neither morals nor strategy. It's natural to be cautious, but one who abandons their comrades is no hero. Be Avoiding the present and only speaking endlessly of past glories, the princess remembered one last time. My past has proved my deeds. My laurels should now be able to speak for me. To give my life now would be foolish. It's elementary to balance risk and benefits. His past has faded. All he has now is his former glory. The spirit has decayed. He has long forgotten the taste of his dream. Ah, oh, if they all failed to defeat the dragon, then I... With only my dream and my rapier, how can I possibly defeat the dragon? The princess is... Though I am but a lowly bystander in the palace, I know you to be humble and grounded. You are never selfish or merciless. All know you for your eagerness and diligence, your dreams that are no less than gold. Your Highness, please don't underestimate yourself. Believe in your golden ideals, and that you will slay that dream-devouring dragon for good. says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. It is almost night. The dragon has changed its name to the Starving One. I've had snack after snack, but dinner still eludes me. I've had snack after snack, but dinner still eludes me. Snacks are distractions. In the end, they have no true substance. What's more, some of these just made me feel... sick. I'm afraid only a true golden dream can sufficiently quench my cravings. The loyal servant approached quietly to observe the dragon. For the princess, he will do any and everything. For my promise to the king. But also, to make her happy. Even if it seems impossible. Huh? The dragon looks strange. Why is it covering its chest? Let's hear what it's mumbling. I shouldn't have underestimated the humans. Or been so gluttonous. Now that my stomach is churning, I have no strength left to face off against the king. Overjoyed. The loyal servant rushed back to share the news. Rushed back? Boy. Oh, I thought I'd shoot. Catch him. My heart is full of courage. I will wield my rapier with pride. Look! There's a spot above its heart that isn't covered by scales! Take it down while it's still weak. Evil dragon, I challenge thee to protect my kingdom! <sighs> Filthy human! With a fearless thrust, the princess fulfilled her pledge. The world opens itself before those who do not forget their dreams and nobility. Thank you as well, my loyal servant. You deserve a fitting reward. 
In light of our recent trials, I will name you... The Shatterer of Despair, Flugel der Dunkelheit, Servant of the Princessin der Veratilung. Finally, the princess personally defeated the dragon, and peace returned to the kingdom. All praise, all praise. <laughs> this took quite a while. Oh, the show was a resounding success. Our thanks to all of the actors and actresses, and our thanks to everyone who came in to support us. Oh, of course, we must thank you as well, Traveler and Paimon. I really appreciated your undivided attention. Oh, <laughs> it felt just like the relentlessly piercing gaze of the evil dragon. About the title, Saul? Oh, uh, yes, the title is Tale of the Sword Wielding Princess. But she only would serve for a brief moment towards the end. Well, uh, it's uh, it's just like how the five Kassen are usually portrayed <laughs> in four poems. I like how we also call the best travel buddy emergency food. I like how we have a cavalry captain without a single horse. <laughs> yeah, there's no horse. Uh, no, but Paimon is here. Well, anyway, the huh. important thing is not the sword in the hand, but the courage in the heart. Back to business. Now that the curtains have closed, I would like to take this rare opportunity oh. to invite the Traveler and Paimon to take a photo with the crew. Please don't refuse. Come on. Oh. Brings a smile to my face. Is everyone oh. ready? Three, two, one, yay! Whoa, tone down the excitement, buddy. The photo is fine? It's totally fine. A commemoration picture could always benefit from a dose of quirkiness. Thank you again, Traveler and Paimon. Ah, oh, summer. Wonderful summer. Ah, oh, the good times never last. I wish times like this would be like a show that never ends. Oh, I can take notes. Is it too long? Is it too long? Oh. Okay, it's the script for everything. Okay. Uh, uh phew. Uh, seems seems seem more honestly harder than I imagined. We almost had a big mess in the middle too, huh? but I guess it'll work out in the end, huh? Do you have something else to say? Great job, bro. One, you have all made me proud. It was an honor to work together with comrades such as you towards something we all are all passionate about. Uh, you really saved me. If you hadn't found a replacement, I've been done for. I have no idea who am I going to talk to. Never thought that I would have a chance to play the leading role. I didn't drag everyone down, did I? Well, so that's curtains, huh? Shame, I haven't had quite enough fun yet. Uh, it would be nice if we had a chance to do this again. And there I'm still. Uh, how was my acting? Pretty great, huh? Uh, what, I fumbled a line? Uh, impossible. You must have heard it wrong. I mean, that was all part of the act, you know? There were some small incidents along the way, but all's well that ends well. 
The cutter says borrowed this time. Honestly, I was worried that I would forget a line at some point in the entire time. Uh, wow, acting is pretty harsh on the throat. I barely speak this loudly ever as it is. Okay, well, I looked a bit around while I was while they were talking. So Time to it go. seems that going up here, I should find Rabio somewhere. No, it should be straightforward because it's all gated. Ah, uh, let's put some general passer by. My support of me. Uh. One with wind and cloud. This is order. I'll settle this. Stand with me. Mm. So I guess I don't won't get a reward for saving you from killing them. Thank thee, kind stranger. Most horrid these creatures are. Assaulting my friend and myself as we were traveling the road. Still, it is good that she is well. It is well that she is safe. No, she must. She must be much afraid for my safety, or am, I am a fool. I must go to her. Post hate. Again, you have my thanks. Oh, you vanished. Time to go. Mm. Oh, he still has no turns. Uh, so let's try teleporting back here. Let's see if he reloads. Uh, that was too short. I don't think he reloaded. Uh, maybe it did. No. Uh, let's exit the game and come back. Uh, how do I exit? Yeah, I always just close it off. Let's see if this works. You should also bring the reward for the guy on the cellar. Oh, well, it took quite a while. This single island. And I thought Kazuhas was longer. Uh, Didn't Mitoboru say he wanted to meet us? I don't care about Mitoboru. Let's go find him and see what it's about. Yeah, later. Well, you too. Ah, there's Time nothing. Go. I, I, I got a reward already, so you guys don't even talk to me. <laughs> Acknowledge I exist. Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? Remember me? I was the night raven you caught hiding in the cellar, sleeping in the elevator. I did it, I became a guard. Now I can join my brother in guarding the castle cellar. Ah, yes. This is such a small... This is just a small token of my appreciation for tell, not telling you me. Again, okay? thank you so much. All my hard work paid off. Now I'm now a glorious member of the night raven guards, just like my brother. Brings a smile to my face. You? I'm proud to have a brother who also entered the castle in service of the princessing. That. Uh, let me guess. Let me check. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that was all for this island. Yeah. I expect you cover two islands at least today. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll try. Oh, tomorrow I'll probably play Blasphemous, but if I can, I'll, I'll go for come back for it on Sunday. And this one will end around here.